Portable off-grid power is one of the pillars of this channel, and we do a lot of portable power and DIY battery builds around here. You can often find me going to some pretty cool places to test and experiment with the capabilities of the portable power solutions we showcase on the channel. About midway through 2018, I went up to Lapland to test the capabilities of my field station and the capabilities of my solar power and portable battery solution. If you watched that first episode, then you already know because of the weather, my batteries died the morning of the third day of that trip. We also learned that I can operate about five hours continuously, QRO, full power, with that 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate pack we built on the channel. But the question remains, what do we do if we need to operate in a grid down scenario, off grid or extended periods of time without solar power to augment us? Well, honestly, guys, that's what we're talking about today. Stick with me a few minutes and I'll tell you all about it. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign narrative. It doesn't matter if we're discussing a ham radio field day or emergency communications or uh, off-grid portable power for preparedness. The goal is almost always energy autonomy. Now, up until now on the channel, we've worked with our solar panels, which are working incredibly well, and we use them to power our DIY lithium iron phosphate batteries, giving us some pretty awesome run times as long as we have sunlight. As you already know, my gear is designed to run off of the lithium iron phosphate uh, battery packs we've built on the channel and replenished by the solar panels you see up on the screen. So the problem I have, and that's problem in quotes, the problem I have is my systems have been designed to operate in the best case scenario. The lesson we learned during the X Days Off-Grid series in Lapland is we're not always going to have sunny days. We're not always going to be able to replenish our power if and when we want to. So the real question is, how do we increase our energy independence when we're out in the field? This question is not so critical to answer for casual communications, but for emergency communications and preparedness, we definitely need to think about a solar generator. Now, there are some pretty cool solar generators on the market. For example, the Energy Kodiak, the Gold Zero Yeti, the Anchor Powerhouse, and uh, others. But in all honesty, I don't think any of these solar generators meet the requirements of emergency communications, nor do they fit my requirements for an SHTF grid down scenario. So let's go through some of my own requirements. This should be a modular 12 volt solar generator. I should be able to repair it in the field using off-the-shelf parts. It should have between 400 and 500 watt hours of usable power and sustain a continuous 50 amp load. It should have multiple 30 amp fused ports and fused USB ports to charge up our devices. It should have dual solar input ports so we can stack the panels. And it should be lightweight and easy enough to carry so that we don't have to leave it behind in a disaster. So guys, here's what I came up with. How about a 576 watt hour solar generator using lithium iron phosphate headway cells? We use the same or very similar BMS as we did with the 10 amp hour headway build. We use an RF quiet lithium iron phosphate charge controller mounted inside the enclosure and manage all of the connections and fuses through one of the K9JEB power distribution boards. We manage the incoming and outgoing power and current for the system with a wireless shunt from Thornwave Labs. And we create some standardization and interoperability by managing all of the inputs and outputs using PowerWorks and Anderson Power Pole connections. We're going to use the Headway Lithium Iron Phosphate 40152S cells to build a 45 amp hour power supply. We'll configure the cells in 4 series 3 parallel configuration. 
Naturally, having a solar generator is ridiculous without having a solar panel to power it. So for the solar generator, we're using the power film FM 1670 120 watt, thin film, flexible, and backpack portable solar panel you've seen on the channel so often. And because I also have solar panels up on the tower, you may have seen the video for that. I can also use this solar generator to power my shack. Alleviating the need to use any of these noisy AC power supplies which disrupt my HF communications. So quite a few of the components have already arrived. I've got the power distribution board from K9JEB.com. I've got the bus bars. I've got the shunt. I've got the BMS, the charge controller. I've got eight out of the 12 15 amp hour headway cells. I've got all the wires. I've got two out of the three or four Power Works and Anderson Power Pole panel mounts I'm going to use. Uh, I've got all the wire connectors and uh, the enclosure, the ammo can enclosure you see on the left there. So as soon as all of the components arrive, we'll start putting the solar generator together and of course uh, documenting that on camera. I've also created a blog post which will be the home page for the DIY solar generator build. That's got a lot more detail than this video, so please take a look at that. You'll find the link in the description. I've also created a specific playlist for the DIY solar generator build. There's also a link to that playlist in the description, but you'll be able to view it on the blog post as well. So let's take a moment to talk about what I'm actually trying to achieve. These days, hardly a week goes by without hearing about some sort of grid down scenario or disaster someplace in the world. Now, despite all the buzzwords like survival and preparedness, prepper, emergency communications, grid down and off grid, there really is the need for individuals to equip themselves with the knowledge and gears to carry out advanced, extended, off grid or grid down communications in the field. As it's always been on this channel, we come up with the goals, define the concept, uh, develop the gear, test it out in the field, bring back what we learned, and refine the ideas. Portable off-grid power and grid-down communications is an area where almost everyone is lacking in their preparedness plan. So let's use the comments of this video to put our heads together and build this thing. If you're supporting the channel through Patreon, PayPal, or simply sharing my content, you're absolutely magnificent and I couldn't do it without you. For the rest of you, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, consider leaving me a comment and a thumbs up to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.